everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Masculine Energies and we can begin the message with the first card here. We've got a repeating message here. My Divine Feminine, let me be your warrior. I don't want you to exhaust yourself by trying to fight all the battles of life alone. I want to stand with you, giving you strength to, and be your protection. I will go to war for my beloved bride. My beloved Divine Feminine. We're working on this together. I may be mirroring something and reflecting some kind of bad experience or trauma coming up to be cleared, to be healed. But as you become more mastered in the spiritual work that brings union, you're more able to heal deeper core woundings and that, be that healing becomes a way of being. You're attaining total mastery in releasing resistance and moving into love. That's the ultimate teaching. Grief. Grief and upsets. So all you have to do is resolve them with love and choose the peaceful feeling and you get results. It may feel impossible. You may desire it, be desiring things you feel that you will never be able to reach. But what seems previously impossible, what you could only hope for, desire or imagine. But the divine provides the pieces because you work through the inner stuff. It, your dreams become more and more possible to or they're obvious. Obstacles may seem insurmountable seem miles away but whatever's going on just work through it impossibility is just a very dense illusion there is light at the end of the tunnel just walk through whatever arises and love yourself there spread your wings whatever's in front of you is okay it's just coming up so you can love yourself there No matter what's blocking you, you can get through it. You can rise above it. You can fly above it. It's perfect. Make no mistakes. People come to help you through the upset. Every experience is an opportunity. When you do this, your life heals. Of course, it will look impossible when you hold those heavy thoughts of separation. Those are the ones that are meant to be healed. Violet flame. Purification of consciousness. You may look at me and think that you better get this together or the situation won't pan out. Because if I don't like you now, I'll, I'm going to go away. But let go of circumstances like fear, control. That's the only thing that's uncomfortable. You can have peace right now. Trust, have faith, choose peace right now. Survival skills won't be necessary. Don't resist or stress. It don't serve the union. Decide to be peaceful instead. I'm not going anywhere. Will the left half of your body split off from the right half and go away? Do you think I'm going to start some new life all in love away from you? No, that's soulmate crap. I'm not your soulmate. I'm your twin flame. I never leave you. I'm not separate from you. Feel the love pieces around you. I'm prepping to be with you. Just like you're prepping to be with me. Clearing the way just as you are. But if you're worried about me not doing the spiritual stuff, no, that's okay, I'm working too. The spiritual stuff is no different to living one's life. Your peace is available in every moment. What would happen if you stepped into the divine truth for you? When you're working through upsets, please don't attach a story to them. 
because the story exaggerates the upset and is unimportant. Just go to the feeling. Surrender the frustration and love yourself in peace. The purpose of any story is just to lead you to the upset. Or as you found it, just feel your feeling there. My holiness shines bright and clear today. In this world, you can become a spotless mirror in which the holiness of your creator shines forth from you to all around you. You can reflect heaven here. Well, that's what we're doing. That's what we're working towards. We are becoming the spotless mirror. Now, I'm not going anywhere. I can't hide. I'm you. Keep peeling back the layers and I'll crawl to the surface and fly over to you. Love is the most powerful force in the universe. Are you, if you're sad that we didn't come any closer before, but, or not any closer now, what, by what metric do you f define closer? Don't be sad. It's okay to have more than one metric for closeness. If you're looking at things and they're not changing, that's not the metric. That's what saddens, it's the perspective. Don't define the closeness of our union by a limited view of closeness. Don't define your progress by that. Choose to surrender to the divine. Choose to let the divine show you. Choose to let the divine show you the real success in our union. Do you feel closer to me? You are never alone, my love. When you hurt, I hurt, and I feel all your pain. It breaks my heart to watch you cry, but you refuse to turn to me. I am with you always, and I desire to be the shoulder you cried in the physical world. I too have walked this world broken. Together, But together we can overcome anything. Please allow me to help mend your broken heart, because this will heal my heart too. And you start by... Accepting the divine truth of how close we really are. Huh. Do you feel closer? The inner work brings us closer. It's good to feel close. We're getting closer to each other all the time because you're doing the work. Resistance, turning away from oneself, doesn't bring me closer. It pushes me away in your heart. Opportunity here for you to love and accept the gift I'm bringing. So I don't say no to yourself in this place. Say no to ego, say no to the illusion, say no to the resistance. None of those are a part of you, none of those serve you. They just feel bad, so say no to everything that feels bad. Say no to any sense of distrust, to any sense of abandonment or betrayal. You feel through it to heal it. You can trust me when only when you trust yourself. There's no difference between me, me and you. Flicking the remote, it don't matter which one of us is doing the inner work. We're one intelligence. Peace is where we're going. No, it's okay to surrender all the resistance and all these bad feelings to the divine. The Divine knows better than both of us, but then again, I'm not stupid either. Unconditional love is required to work through the lesson and transcend the lessons. And I must transcend my lesson too, on my own, or it will manifest it elsewhere. Uncomfortable, but not terminal. Are you worthy of your own forgiveness and worthy of divine love? Don't be hard on yourself, just love yourself there. 
Trust the divine. Let the divine be in charge. Can the divine let you down? Choose not to let yourself down. Choose to love, respect and honour yourself. Give yourself all that you desire sustainably for all of eternity. Is it too good to be true? No. It's so good that it is true. It's yours. You know the process. Nothing can hold you back. Okay, everybody. I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.